a rectangular beam, 60 mm wide and 150 mm deep, is simply supported over a span of 6 meter to stop. If the beam is subjected to a central point load of 12 kN, find the maximum stresses induced in the beam section. Okay. First of all, write down the given data for that. So beam it is simply supported central point load it is given the cross section of the beam it is cross section of the beam it is 16 to 150 mm. so this one it is simply supported beam supported at A and B. A and B. A and B. A point and this one it is B point. So central point load it is acted at center of this span that is 120 kilo. Okay. 12 kilo. 12 kilo newton. 12 kilo newton. 12 kilo newton. Okay. So send the span, it is total span, it is how much? Total span, it is 6 meter. Total span, it is this span, it is 6 meter. 6 meter span. Okay. This span, it is 6 meter. And center of this means it will be from A to this center, it will be 3 meter. So this distance, it is 3 meter. And this distance it will be also three meter. This distance will be also three meter. Three meter. Three meter. And this distance it will also three meter. Okay. So cross section it will be given. Just for the cross section of this beam. So this one it is cross section. So 60 mm wide. So B it is given 60 mm. And depth it is given. Depth it is given 150 mm. 150 mm. That is B it is right on B is equal to given data right on B is equal to it is 60 mm. 60 mm. And D it is D is equal to it is D is equal to 150 mm. D is equal to 150 mm. Okay. So span it is given that is L is equal to 6 meter. L is equal to 6 meter. Okay. And load that is W it is given W is equal to W is equal to 12 kilonewton. It is acted center point load. Okay. So first of all, calculate the bending moment. Okay. So maximum bending it will be at maximum bending moment. Bending moment. When simply supported span and center point load it is acted. So M is equal to it is for that. M max is equal to it is WL by 4. So this one it is WL by 4. W into L by 4. Then the beam it is simply supported and central point load it is acted. Okay. Central point load it is acted at that time. M max is equal to it is WL by 4. Okay. So W it is 12. 12 into tan it is 6 divided by 4. Divided by 4. Divided by 4. Divided by 4. It will be get M max, maximum bending moment. M max is equal to M max is equal to 12 into 6, 12 into 6 divided by, divided by 4. So it will be 18 kilonewton meter. 18 kilonewton meter. 18 kilonewton meter. Okay. So next one it is. Next one it will be calculate section modulus. Section model Z is equal to it is I by 1. Z is equal to I by 1. I by 1. I it is moment of inertia and Y it is center of gravity. Y it is center of gravity. Y it is center of gravity. Okay. So I is equal to it is BD cube by 20. Okay. So I is B into D cube. BD cube divided by 12. BD cube divided by 12. B D cube divided by twelve. This one it is I. 
3d cube by 12. So y it is d by 2. 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 So it will be directly it will be get bd square by 6. b into d square by 6. bd square by 6. So section model as it is bd square by 6. Okay. We can directly write down z is equal to this bd square by 6. B D square by 6. It will be z is equal to z is equal to it will be b it is how much 60 60 into 150 square 150 square 150 square divided by 6 150 square divided by 6 150 square divided by 6 150 square divided by 6. So it will be get, it will get 16 to 150 square divided by 6. So it will be 225 into 10 raised to the power 3. 225 into 10 raised to the power 3. Mm. Mm. Section modulus is 225 into 10 raised to the power 3. Mm. Now, bending stress equation, we know that it is bending stress equation, bending stress equation, bending stress equation, bending stress equation is, as per the bending stress equation, we know that it is m by i is equal to, so this one is m by i is equal to, 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 that is sigma b, that is bending stress. Sigma b, it will be bending stress divided by 1. Divided by 1. Divided by 1. Okay. So we can directly write down sigma b is equal to it will. Sigma b is equal to it will be m by m by i m by i m by i m by i into i into one into one okay. so sigma b is equal to sigma b is equal to it will be you can write down it this one it will be m by i by y m by i by y I by one. This one, I by y. So it will be I by y means it is z so is equal to m by z. So is equal to m by z. M by z. M by z. Z it is section model. I by y means it is z. Okay. So put all these value here. One this value sigma b is equal to sigma b is equal to so m it is how much m it is 18 kilo newton meter converted is in newton per mm 18 into 10 to the power 6 newton per mm divided by divided by divided by z it is 225 225 into 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 the bending stress it will be get bending stress Sigma B is equal to so 18 into 10 raised to the power 6 divided by 225 into 10 raised to the power 3. So this one it is 80 Newton per mm. So bending stress it is 18 Newton per mm square. Okay. So maximum bending stress it will be occur at the top and bottom. Okay. At the top and bottom. At the top and bottom. So this one it is our answer. Okay. So bending stress it is. 80 Newton per mm square. So draw the bending stress diagram. Here, yes, you can draw the bending stress diagram for that. First of all, this rear line. So maximum bending stress it will be maximum at the at the neutral axis it will be zero. Okay. 
at the neutral axis it will be zero at the top fiber and bottom fiber it will be much zero okay that is means 80 newton per m so this one it is here it is 80 and here it is 8 newton per m square newton per m square okay so top fiber it will be top fiber it will be so this one it is neutral axis of this beam neutral axis of this beam okay so it is bending sagging type bend occur okay so this if you apply force on that book okay this one it is simply supported so it will be bent sagging type so top of this fiber it is compression and bottom of this fiber it is tension okay so top it is in compression okay so that's why at the top it is compression top it is compression compression you can say it is compression zone at the top bottom it is tension zone you can say it is tension zone and compression zone okay so that's why at the top it is we call it is compression stress and bottom it is be tension stress okay so this is bending stress due to external loading okay bending stress due to external loading 